It's time to continue a franchise, Mason. Yes. You know what this franchise is? It's the Kameo Nanjiani jumps into the franchise at the wrong time trilogy. Oh, no. We've got Men in Black International. Oh, We've bad got call. the Eternals. Bad call. We've got this nice. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Mm. I've written here Ghostbusters Afterlife, but that's a different Ghostbusters movie. Uh, I've seen two of the people in this movie do stand up. Well, which ones? Kamal and Patton Oswalt. Well, I've seen one of them then. I know. I like Kamal Nanjiani. I agree. And I That's enjoy, uh, he did that Chippendales show. Did you see that? Really oh, good. no, I didn't see it, but I thought that was good. Yeah. It's great. Mm-hmm. Anyway, on a budget of $100 million, it's going to have a roughly. That's cheap as chips. No, uh, have roughly 45 million US opening, which is on par with the last one, which is good. Mm-hmm. But this one costs $25 million more than the oh, previous sure, one. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know why. they had to do it in New York City, baby. Yeah, but we're going to get those New York City baby permits. They filmed much of it in New York. Okay. Also, they, not, that last one, they resurrected a dead man. And now is that cheaper? That's a good point, actually. Anyway, what do you think the story was? Oh, come on, mate. Yep. All right. Ghostbusters are back in New York, baby. Yep. They're going to have a big time ghostly New York adventure. They are, aren't they? All, they're all back, all your faves. Who? Uh, Paul Rudd. Every single person. Yeah, everybody from the last one. Even the ones that were trapped in that that, <laughs> that nowhere town who had no prospects and no way to get to New York. Well, they're in New York, baby. That's right. And there's even more people. Even and more. now there's a there's a big, there's ghosts, there's all the ghosts, even people who weren't, weren't in the last one, but they were in the original Ghostbusters. Yep. They're back as well. Who? Walter Peck. Walter Peck's back. And a thing is coming. Yeah, spooky ghost uh, thing. It's going to come. It is going to, yeah. It's going to get to the thing. And you got to stop it from getting to the thing on time. Is that what was happening? you got to block it. It's I coming. I think it had to get to the you thing. you got to get there. It was going to get to the – to the because the, the the ghost house was the central point of energy. Yeah, but I'm not sure they had to get there. They had to. Where was it getting? Why was it going there then? Just to have a bit of a walk around. I don't think that's why it was trying to get there. Anyway, there's a big thing and it's trying to get there. And that <laughs> ghost has got to stop it. They'll put their foot down. It's a big frozen thing. That's right. Okay, I just want to say this to Ghostbusters fans. I feel like I've been very cruel to you mm-hmm. in terms of me saying that all the Ghostbusters stuff is not great except the first Ghostbusters movie, which is pretty good. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. And I think, like, watching this, are right? You, James, are you going to lead up to no, a big no, no, funny no, no, joke no, 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 where you say this joke. Uh, This is a genuine okay. question. All right. I think this also applies to you because you're a big Ghostbusters fan. Mm-hmm. If you are a Ghostbusters fan, yes. Are you fucking happy with the shit that they're doing? Like, are you satisfied with, yeah. the, with the, are you satisfied? I'm hearing a lot of like, well, it had uh, the proton packs and <laughs> I saw Egon's fucking trench coat or whatever, or like <laughs> Slimer was in it. But are you happy with these like muddled, watered down, recycled ideas where like the, the surviving Ghostbusters turn up and they stand next to each other and they shake their proton sticks <laughs> For 10 seconds and they all fall over. Like, is this what people want out of this fucking franchise? That's a great don't you want, like, the Andor of Ghostbusters? Yeah, right. Like, I know people don't love new Star Wars. I understand that, but. Folks, you he's, can, boy, he's, he's you working can, his way to a big old rant. You can point to things. You can point to things in Star Wars uh-huh. and be like, that's great. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the new stuff. Yes, even. Uh-huh. I can't point to a single fucking thing from Ghostbusters outside of. Oh, there's some good comics. Yep. That's like, this is definitively uh-huh. great. Okay, but could you say that about, if, if we're talking Star Wars, mm. in between Star Wars original trilogy and Andor, yeah. there's some stuff that is great. I agree. I agree. But I think there's also, there's some watered down stuff in yes, there as well. But there's, again, mm-hmm. the emphasis on there's some great stuff. Yes. Whereas this, it's the same thing. Uh-huh. And like... A thing shows up. It's basically the villain is the same villain that they've always had. It's a thing from a whatever, Mm -hmm. and it's trying to get out, and it needs to get to a thing, Uh and let's assemble the Ghostbusters. Except this time you've got to assemble the team from 2021, Uh and there's 18 of them, Mm -hmm. and then you've got to assemble whoever's left and alive. (laughs) Yep. And then you know, I feel like there are people giving it their all, like Dan Aykroyd's coming in, uh-huh. and he's in this a lot, and he, I, I feel I feel his passion for the yeah. paranormal, and that comes through, mm-hmm. and he's got fun with adventures. But Does he know he's in a movie, though? I don't, and even Ernie Hudson, they've developed that character yes, where uh-huh. he's not. Like, there's even a scene where Dan Aykroyd's character and Ernie Hudson's character have an actual conversation. Like they had in the car in the first one. Exactly. Yeah. But then Bill Murray just rolls in, I, is he, and he's just kind of, stumbling about, I'm here too, yeah. here's a quip. Uh-huh. What are you even doing? Why do you do these? Why do you – you clearly don't like them. Maybe he must be in them. <laughs> We've talked about this before, but the the, the, three, origi- the three original Ghostbusters – the, the actors had some sort of rule where that no yeah. sequel could go ahead without their say-so even if they weren't in them. But I suspect there is a further clause that they didn't know about that meant they must be in them. 
I just I'd, love, I'll tell you this, James. I would say generally, I would say your criticisms are valid. I would say as a fan of especially the first, the original Ghostbusters, I did enjoy this. But I think though some of those criticisms you pointed out are very valid. Like I give you like there are so many characters in this. Mm. I think gem like as the movie came to the end, I think they they clearly had planned like okay. It feels like a reshoot as well. Talk about yeah, why. Yeah, I, I suspect by the end, it, like there are so many characters in this that when you return to something, you go, oh, these they're in this. I remember yeah. now. But they're like there are because oh, there's Patton Oswalt, James Acaster is in it as well, who I like. Kamal Nanjiani. There's a new yeah people. Uh, Finn Wolfhard's friends from the previous movie who yep. were who were trapped in the in the nowhere town. Yep. They've made it to. They found podcasters various, here. Yeah, they found various means to get them to. New York City, um, and there's so many characters, but I feel like they all had a role to play, and I think that as contrived as some of it is, I think by the end they we reach a satisfying conclusion with them at the end. Like there's there's no okay fine, <laughs> but I I feel like you know there it, it was I I enjoyed all the characters, even the new guys, and there are so many new guys. Yeah, I feel like it, it all came together in a satisfying way at the end. Um, and I think it's, I feel like it's this, it's pretty much also the same thing that happened in the last one, I guess is a spoiler, but you've seen this movie, but that's franchise movie. Making, no, I, exactly. Yeah. And that's what my problem with it as well is that like the old team get together and you get to see like Janine's there now and she's got a, like a wrist ghost proton pack yeah, sure, sure, and like sure. even she suits up but for what again the four of them stand in a line and they just mm-hmm. and they and i can imagine them filming on the day and they're just shaking the <laughs> proton packs yeah, yeah and then yeah, they yeah. go Whoa, and they fall over yeah, yeah yeah. and then but then someone else comes and they really zap the thing look if i can be critical about this james if you'll allow me to be critical about this mo- movie for just a minute in between your gushing uh, uh, appraise of it. It's not even as good as the 2021 one. I think it's better than the 2021 one. Mm-hmm. Uh, At think, least that was not like, I mean, it was Ghostbusters again, but not yeah. the whole thing. If I can be critical of this one, James, if you'll allow me for a moment, stop saying how good it is. I think they've they're perhaps overcorrected in hedging their bets. Yeah. With this one, because as we all know, they went, they 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 whipped out the 2016 one, all girl Ghostbusters, yep. no boys allowed Ghostbusters, mm-hmm. and people hated it. Yep. Because it was like, well, we don't even uh, the, the last one's not even in continuity. It's doesn't. It's a whole separate. It's all mm. gone. And I think with with the last one, they were like, okay, we need to sort of pass the torch to the new generation of Ghostbusters. And I think in this one, they're like, let's do a tiny bit more of passing the torch. Let's get him in the firehouse. Let's do that. Yeah. And then if there is another sequel, then there, that we, we really need we really need this particular audience and general audiences to say, okay, well, the previous Ghostbusters approve of this new team. Yeah. And they've worked together and, and now we can move forward with the next adventure kind of thing. Sure. Just take us three movies to get there. And look, I, I don't even think this is dreadful. Mm-hmm. I think it's so middle of the road. Uh-huh. I think McG- McKenna Grace is still like a good lead. Uh-huh. In the, I think she's a great Egon's granddaughter. And I like Finn Wolfhard. Though he's Are barely, they saying he's, Spangler now? Did they say Spangler in the – have they said Spangler? I feel like they've said Spangler in every other movie and now they're going with Spangler. It feels kind of like somebody went, oh, you know, it's Spangler. Yeah. They actually say Spangler and they went, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't notice that at all. Should we – will we have to change it? I thought it was Spangler. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I, you know, again – But they, I feel like they're trying to be like this is an all-ages adventure. Yes. And I think you do disservice to – People who, like people who like ghost blowjobs. People who like ghost blowjobs. They're like the original movie. Mm-hmm. The humor doesn't work as well because you can't be specific and weird and niche. It's just general. Oh, I whatever. See. Okay, right, right. Mm. Like you know, like the 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 mayor turns up at the end and it's Walter Peck, and then Bill Murray's there and he's just like, "Hey, it's you." But then the crowd, and someone in the crowd goes, "Hey, shut up, Dickless," or whatever. Yeah. It's like, but and that's it. Mm. Also, they all end that way. They all walk into the street and everyone fucking cheers. It's like the same thing. Well, I cheer, James. All James. The, also, the ghost containment unit blows up and all the ghosts get out. Oh, it's Ghostbusters one. Exactly, and you don't even see. Like the ghost really running amok, yeah, you know? Sure. It's okay, just yeah. vague ghosts just kind of mm. whizzing about. Like the Frozen Empire is like 15 minutes of this movie and maybe in real time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the villain's like a skeleton with horns mm. who can freeze people sometimes, but not everybody because some people survive being well, like James, they froze in the trailer. Well, James, well done. You've convinced me that I didn't have fun watching this movie. You're allowed to like this movie. I've no, been, no, 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 no. I didn't now. I've been to the Ghostbusters Reddit 
They seem very happy with it. Mm. And I, I look genuinely good if you like it, but don't you want something that elevates it or takes it in a different direction or they go into different dimensions or time travel or they establish new characters properly and they don't just have original characters show up and, and go, I'm here. Mm. I'm also like, don't you want something? Don't you want something else from I, this? Yes, I do, but I quite like this one. <laughs> I'm I'm afraid so. I mean, it it felt to me like it was, uh, you know, another episode in the day to day humdrum life of Ghostbusters. Then, but it's also world ending, and it's like, well, you know. Yeah. But it's again, it's it's not anyway. Um, too but many, also, I oh, can... there's a ghost girl in it as well. Oh, there is a ghost. It's too girl. many storylines. <laughs> it's too many. There were probably too many, yeah. Yeah. But I th- and they're just trying to heavily market these marshmallow men. Oh. Just drop it. It's fucking. You think they're selling it's those? It's over. I didn't know they were selling those anyway. I'm sure they are. It's okay. like a Minions kind of oh, memeable I see. Right. Or whatever. Okay. Sure. They could do like webisodes about the yeah. marshmallow little babies or whatever. I don't know. Am I the only one who's like, that's done now? Yes. Okay. Uh, look, I thought, it was, I look, to me it felt like a fun, I can't, mm, I feel like it was quite good. And fun, and I like the I like uh, things I liked about it. What did you like about it, James? I like the I like Paul Rudd and Carrie Coon as yep. the the you know the 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 mum and the maybe he's the dad. I thought that was quite fun. What if you did like you know like Evil Dead Rise? Uh huh. Just a thing, like take one or two of them, yes, and just do a, a like an isolated story where it's not just the first mm. Ghostbusters movie. Yeah. Like they're trapped with an entity and a whatever. I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, they could. I think they Maybe could. Maybe they do- go into the afterlife. I think they could do that, but I think it's. it's. Well, so the budget would be like half of what this yeah, is. Yeah, but I think we need this one because although I think, I genuinely think we need this one for certain people to accept that this is the new status quo. Going I think forward. then you're only pleasing people who want to see Slimer. Like, <laughs> I don't you also want to get. Like the people. Like the new Evil Dead movie uh-huh. didn't do really well because it was exclusively original Evil Dead fans. It was like mm. this is a good horror movie That's on true. its own. That's true. And I know you could you just go and you could bring a kid to this and they're like, yeah, whatever. Slimer eats the pizza and whatever. Oh, he ate that. What's pizza. funny? Like what jokes? Ah, uh, let me think. I can get here. Let me do it. The Kamal Nanjiani Bill Murray conversation was all right. I that guess was pretty funny. Yeah, I like that. Um. Again, it's that same thing that Bill Murray did in the other movies where he sits down for, like, a psychic interview. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same thing. That's true. I liked it. That's is he fun. contractually obligated to just do the same thing? Is he refused maybe. to do other things in this movie? Maybe he's maybe, movies? maybe his agent, like, he's got the contract there and he's like, Bill Murray will not stand up. God, he, he looks will. so bored. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> you know what struck me? And not in the fun way. Because we talked about Afterlife last, you know, a few weeks ago we did a, yeah. we did a movie commentary on it. I need it, to apologize it, to that movie. It 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 struck me, uh, and I just thought about it this week that Sigourney Weaver is like like a, a, a staggering beauty, <laughs> and she remains such. Yeah. And like, what are you going to say about Bill Murray? Um, Bill Murray is a mummy now. <laughs> Bill Mummy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, He's look Bill at mummy. even look at Ernie Hudson. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. You could you, it, this could be set five years after the first yeah. for him. Look, and again, I, I enjoyed the fact that we had I liked the fact that Dan Aykroyd had a more substantial role. I agree. I, I, nice. I think Dan Aykroyd is genuinely invested in these. And yeah. I think the same is can be said for um yeah. Ernie Hudson. So but maybe pair I don't know the mm. up more. I don't I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. Uh-huh. Um let's do spoilers. Okay, cool. I'm gonna you know, say best I'm movie not ever. even gonna say it's the worst movie there ever. You go. Because this is clearly what people want. Mm. Just this. Yeah. Just this again and again. I, I think look, I think the next one they're probably gonna mix it up if we get another one. Mm. Um but yeah, look, I th- I feel like I personally I, I'm Walter Peck, I would have closed down the Ghostbust. You did this already. <laughs> and then you, another guy did it in the yeah. second movie. Mm. Come on, man. Mm. I think if you like this franchise more, that or and I think some people who like this franchise more are like, this is what we want. This is a bit of this is a bit of fun, and I like to see, you know. Aim higher. I won't. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. I liked I liked Bill. I, I liked, don't know what it is about this franchise no, I that I've said. I liked I liked uh, I liked um Dan Aykroyd and McKenna Grace and podcast getting in the little yep. little motorcycle in the side no, car. Yeah, the see, a new adventure. thing. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. A new thing. Yeah. It's got a little like 
railgun kind of thing. Yeah, in it. I like the I like the, I like the family dynamic. All the lions came to life from the the, the, the stood next to the lion in the first movie. That's so true. All well, the librarians. The, here. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yes, yeah, librarians some, here. I think there was some definite stuff where I think they probably went too overboard with the fan service. There's the moment where. Uh, Dan Aykroyd goes into the New York Public Library and we see the the, the library librarian yep. goes from the first one, but there's no payoff there. No, I reckon if they just you had to have known that. Yeah, that's thing. true. And then we see the we see the the main librarian guy there, and he's like, oh, that's this guy. I don't like this guy from earlier. Yeah. I kind of feel like yeah, I would have loved to have seen a moment where Dan Aykroyd's character and and the library ghost have a little conversation. Yeah, which is like, sorry. <laughs> you know, he should say sorry. I was having a bad hundred years, you know, kind of thing. I also think Kamal Nanjiani, like, he should be in this more because there's okay. We're doing spoilers mm-hmm. because he's the he's the he's the fire master. He's not yes. the key. He's not the key. He's a different guy, master or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's sure. the fireman, uh-huh. and he kind of disappears. And at the end, he comes back, and it's just like our fire powers, yes. and that's part. Of it. And then we'll we'll zap the ghost in a slightly different way. Yep, and we'll. We'll contain it. Figure it out. We'll, figure, we'll knock its horns off. And That's right. Well, but it's not even as good as the villain from the the second one. The second oh, villain. Vigo. Yeah, Vigo. Well, Vigo, mm. I think, is also is a pretty good villain. Yeah, I mean, this fair. was a kind of nothing. I'll, I'll concede, James. Yeah. And I'll just I'll stop where's you there. Where's the personality I know you that I know you love this villain, but I'm going to say, he, where's the personality? You know what I mean? He's yeah. just a guy <laughs> with some horns. And he's glo- – yeah, no, you're right. Ah. And again, I yeah. I mean, I think again, I think it is that sort of Marvel syndrome. Yeah. May, you know what? Maybe I wonder if it's because this is in in some in some way this is kind of Marvel in a different with a different coat of paint. Absolutely, it is. It's it's Sony Marvel. It's yeah. It's it's when you you have such a big ensemble of of heroic characters, the good guys, and you're like, well, we want to spend so much time with them, and then you don't spend enough time making a compelling villain. Yeah. There's not enough time and there's there's no there's no space to go, okay, well what's the history of this character? We're gonna we're gonna see it yeah. expand, you know? Imagine if you teamed up like Bill Murray I'm listening and McKenna Grace for like a just that they have their own adventure kind of movie. Sure. And that's the movie. And I don't know whether he'd do that. You could really give would. it to any of the Ghostbusters. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And like you can have the other ones at the start or whatever. I would do probably. I would probably do McKenna Grace and it's McKenna Grace, right? Sure. Not Mackenzie. Might be. I'm confu- I confuse all the McKennas and the Mackenzies. Uh, but it, I would say her and Dan Aykroyd. Yep. A couple. A little. I. I would love to see if they're going to do a sequel. It is McKenna Grace. Yeah. If they. If this makes enough money to warrant a sequel, I would love Which to it see. Might. Yeah, I would love to see maybe Ray and uh, McKenna's character. On a, on a yeah, on a little um, on a little motorbike adventure. I think that sure. would be fun. They go to a little, they go, they go a little bit out of town and they investigate a haunted house. Even a TV series, yeah, like a live action something. Sure. I don't know, man. Mm. I think um, there's some stuff cut in this as well. Do you remember the bit in the trailer where they're all standing on the roof in their red jackets and yes. they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. none of them are wearing. Only two of them wearing the red jacket. Paul Rudd is not wearing the red jacket well, in this. Like that was a big deal. No red on Rudd. Yeah, and I think maybe that red jacket thing maybe was tied into defeating the villain. Also, the the girl from the first movie, the last movie, is an intern. She gets frozen in the trailer and you see her like eye fro- freeze yeah, over. She, and, and that rooftop scene she has with Finn Wolfhard looks like a reshoot because they took out the other rooftop scene. Yeah, so I don't I, know whether she was died or was frozen for the rest of the movie and they're like, I, we yeah, have to bring her back in. I think they I think they trimmed some of this for gore. like Or not gore, but it, I think... Horror? For example... Uh, the 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 key element is this orb which contains the, the this ice ghost yeah and I think potentially and and James Acaster is a sort of a um a ghost researcher that's been hired by Winston to yeah. to to do to do more he's the new, he's a new Egon kind of character mm. I enjoy I enjoyed his work there mm. um I like him but I suspect he might have lost an arm in the in okay the, but and again cuz yeah in the trailer it looks like everybody's being killed by this and the the plot armor saves all the main characters and yeah. it, it it does look like everybody that everybody lives everybody lives and, and you hate girl, that don't you yeah I do and the ghost it's the same problem that the end of Jurassic World Dominion had mm-hmm. where like now you've you've got 19 characters now that's true you have to do some culling yeah yeah something else i was going to say that i didn't like or did like I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a machine that you can turn turn you into a ghost for a minute. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and you'd get in that. You oh yeah, because I'll go in. Uh-huh. It's going to turn me into a ghost, but then it's only for two minutes, and then I'm going to be able to jump back in my body. Are you sure? That looks like a vending machine. Oh, sorry, the sorry, the teenage girl didn't make the super correct decision, James. I think 
any person. Sorry, character. All your your characters aren't, aren't perfect. Nobody would do that in the world. No, no. Let alone somebody that, that intelligent. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, it was a be- there was a better way to have the ghost get out of the ghost ball. Hey, look at me. I'm I'm the I'm the I'm Phoebe. I'm oh, he's got big glasses, glasses on. Put big glasses on. Big fake glasses on. Okay, here's what I think. I don't think they're gonna do smaller stories. I'm playing chess. This is what they're gonna do. Yes, I suspect. Uh huh. They're gonna do a Ghostbusters multiverse story. They're going to bring back everything. I don't. I think they wouldn't dare. I think they're going to be like, look, it's all the Ghostbusters team up from everything. I don't think they will. <laughs> I, I. They need somewhere to go, and Sony love a multiverse. I, I shall put one human dollar. Yep. On on, a, on, a, on an official Weekly Planet bet. Yep. Uh, that they will not bring back the girl Ghostbusters. I think they will do it if this makes enough money. But mm-hmm. I'm not sure whether you could justify the cost of doing that because all of those people would cost a lot of money also. That's true, Plus yeah. you've got to bring back original Ghostbusters. Plus you've probably got to bring back – you've probably got to have a flashback with young Egon Spengler. That's and then true. maybe you do the animated You bring in the animated Ghostbusters, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe – you could even bring in the 1970s, the Ghostbusters. Yeah, okay. I think there is a road there that they have definitely considered. I'm, and we've seen it in the comics. Yeah. I w- it wouldn't shock me if they bring in the filmation Ghostbusters with the haunted car and the, yeah. the gorilla and whatever. I I think I reckon there's a there's a huge red flag over 2016 Ghostbusters. I completely agree. But have you ever known Sony to make a good decision? They've never made a good decision. This is what I'm saying. I'm not like they made this Ghostbusters is, Frozen Empire. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Good lord, this is a great idea. Mm. I think it's bad. But yeah. there, there is no way the Sony multiverse, the, all that multiverse yeah. shit they've been doing, they have not considered this. They're like four or five years behind every other. <laughs> They're four or five years behind Marvel who have already discovered to the dismay that not everybody loves multiverse stuff if it's bad. Yep. Anyway, I got some tweets here from people who saw it. Oh, RG yeah. says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, just saw Ghostbusters Frozen Empire plus The Last Firebender, best movie ever. There you go. Uh-huh. Mike says, I enjoyed Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, but it's kind of hard to celebrate the success when they caused the problems in multiple ways. I'm with the mayor. Shut them down. Absolutely. And Cappy Kid says, just got out of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Someone should talk to Dan Aykroyd. He's playing a character and not himself. So, <laughs> uh, Best movie ever. So, yeah, again, I think the reviews, I think it's like Rotten Tomatoes is like 45%, which is also nearly half of critics were more yeah. positive. I don't think that's as bad as – People don't know how to read Rotten Tomatoes. That's they true. think forty five percent is forty five out of a hundred. Everybody a, gave every, it a forty five. Yeah, 45 which is not how that works. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, but the audience score is good. And again, in the Ghostbusters, um, fucking Reddit, people are like, I there loved it, and I loved, I love seeing all my friends mm. from the eighties. I wonder if that is also because there we have a point of view character in the form of Paul Rudd who loved original Ghostbusters. Point Rudd. What? <laughs> just, just doing riffs, mate. Oh, that was a good riff, I think. <laughs> was a good riff. If only I'd jumped on <laughs> that. You could have continued the riff, okay. and yet you have uh, not. Point break. Point break. Point cook. Oh, yeah. It's a place. It in is a Australia. place. It's my favorite place. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you think Paul Rudd, point of view character, though? That's what you're Paul saying. Paul Rudder is the audience. Direction. Direction, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love Maybe every movie there. should have a guy who loved. The, the Avengers had Colson, yeah. who loved. The Marvel Avengers. Super, he loved Captain America specifically. But did, if, if pressed, I'm sure he would say, I love all Marvel superheroes, he would yeah, say. Yeah. If I had to choose, yeah, I yeah, simply yeah. couldn't. Mm. Yeah. What does Madam Web have? Does Madam Web have a guy who loves Spider-Man? Mm. Not really. This is better than Madam Web. I just want to, like, nice. just so people know. Okay, don't get it twisted. Mm. I don't even think this is terrible. Yeah. Just ra- raise your expectations. I think <laughs> upon a rewatch, when we inevitably rewatch this, I think you're going to be like, I liked it more than I didn't. Maybe. Yeah. But I'm never going to rewatch this. That's a shame. That's a shame. I'll have to for something, won't I? Yeah. Again, I don't even think it's terrible. I'm just like, am I not? Um, are we all watching the same movie again and mm. again? Am I the only one who thinks I that? Think, I think what is happening here is he is the opinion of the big Ghostbusters fans, and he's your opinion, and I think they're slowly aligning. <laughs> and one day you'll be like, wow, I love Ghostbusters 7, you'll say. <laughs> Which is... Kumail and James the, A. Caster and Patton Oswalt go on a little adventure. Does that include the house. reboot, Ghostbusters 7? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how to count. You know what's interesting? It is wild to me that at the very least Patton Oswalt and Kumail didn't have a scene together. Yeah, they From, know each other. They wouldn't. They know each other. Yeah. I'm wondering if that's maybe just a uh, – because they all – I mean, sure, I'm sure it's all because they all filmed on separate days and in sure. different locations and wherever they happen to be currently, yeah. you know, whatever. But it, it is weird that the two, like – well, I, I don't know. I guess I like that we had some – you know the old SNL guys and the old mm. the old school, and then like a bunch of new up and coming. I thought I feel like 
I feel like there's there's a lot of potential there, and I think we need one more. Yeah. And I like this one enough. <laughs> it's well, good enough. Good enough. I know Even I've said good. that. I know I've said that before. Good enough. Mm. Right. Anything can be good. And Ghostbusters enough. was good. Enough. Good enough. All right. Should we move on to the next segment? Yeah. What is it? It's what we're reading. Yep. What are we going to read? 